This is ABC 15 Mornings. The U.S. imposing new sanctions. No Russian financial institution is safe if the invasion proceeds. But will it be enough to stop military action and prevent a war? What's next for gas prices? Coming at a time when the market is already quite tight. Prices at the pump expected to rise and not come down anytime soon. The high costs of living. We want to buy a house. We want to achieve the American dream, but it's, it seems almost impossible that it's going to happen. Homes getting snatched up and builders struggle to keep up. Get ready for a winter storm. It is going to be an active day for weather and traffic. We have you covered on both. In fact, it's already an active morning Certainly for is. sure. Thank you for waking up with us. We appreciate it on this Weather Action Day. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. And I'm Mixoletti from the high country to the valley. We've got you covered this morning. Allison Rodriguez is live in Flagstaff for us where they're already waking up to some snow. Yes, they are. Let's begin with our meteorologist, Iris Hermosillo. Iris, we are bracing for rain here in the valley today. Absolutely, and it's already starting to fall in parts of the valley. This is just the beginning, though. Most of the Phoenix area is dry as we look at Desert Doppler radar, but check out what's happening in the West Valley from about Buckeye to Surprise right over the White Tank. So we're getting kind of that first shower of the day and these showers will begin to expand across the valley as the morning goes on and we could get some thunderstorms in the mix as well. So it is an ABC 15 weather action day as our rain chances will be climbing over the next several hours, peaking at 100% by mid morning. I think our key timing will be between 8 a.m. and about 2 p.m. for more widespread showers and thunderstorms, but we're already seeing some showers and we could see rain outside of that window. In fact, even as we go into this afternoon, I think a few thunderstorms are are still possible. The potential is there for about a quarter of an inch to half an inch of rain, generally light to moderate rain, but we could see some thunderstorms in the mix and we've seen this happen before with winter storms in the valley where we get that grapple or soft hail that kind of coats the ground. It looks like snow, but it's soft hail that could lead to even more slick conditions. So we'll be watching for that here in the Phoenix area and look what's happening up north already. That snow coming down pretty heavy in spots like Flagstaff out near Prescott and Payson too, and it's going to continue to expand across Across northern Arizona as the morning goes on. Not only is heavy snow an issue, we're also dealing with some very strong winds, gusts near 40 miles an hour, and so that is reducing visibility. Guys, I can't stress enough. Avoid travel, if at all possible, across northern Arizona today. Okay, so we do want to head up north to Flagstaff, seeing a nice dusting of snow last night into these early morning hours. Allison Rodriguez is live there right now. Allison, I'd ask you what it's feeling like right now, but we can tell yes. it, it's, it's very <laughs> cold. Uh, what are you seeing around <laughs> you right now? Yeah, it's really cold out here, but you're okay if you layer up right and you limit your time that you have to be outside right now. It's basically whiteout conditions. Take a look. We've got plows that have been going all night long trying to get ahead of this thing and clear up these roads, but it's kind of all for naught, really, because if you'll notice, I mentioned they've been out here all night long, but again, the snow coming down, so not really able to make a ton of progress here. Uh, if my photojournalist, Chad, come around this way, I'm going to walk you through here because we're kind of a bit on a slant here, but we've got a couple of snow plows uh, right here, some trucks uh, here getting ready to try and do their part as well. I want to mention that people have been trying to prepare. I want to show you, we actually caught a, so a video of a gentleman trying to shovel all red Ready, and you kind of feel for him, right? Because what you just saw out here live a second ago is that uh, not really doing a whole lot, but going to try anyway, get out here early again and do that again and try and clear some of these walkways and these roadways uh, to make everything a little bit easier. And the plows, as I mentioned, they've been out all night. We're talking uh, ADOT has about 200 snow plows here and there are about 60 in this area alone. I've been in contact with ADOT throughout the night and they told me they were actually bringing some additional drivers and snow plows into the area just to get ready for this storm. As we're coming back out here live. I want to show you it's coming down again and Iris was mentioning the winds. That is what's making this uh, even more difficult. Not only do you have the layer of snow that hasn't stopped all night long, but then you have the winds. It's a little bit windy and then the gusts come and it's just blowing all over the place. Now, I want to mention this is so bad. Several school districts have actually closed or delayed opening. So I've got the Flagstaff Unified School District classes canceled today. Blue Ridge also canceled and Yavapai College, you are on a two hour delay. So Kaylee, who knows uh, if other schools or other colleges are going to make those same calls. But for now, it's just very dangerous. Best to avoid the road if possible. Well, we do know a little later you're going to see a lot of kids out there building snowmen. And, uh, you know, it seems so shallow to say it. 
but you look absolutely gorgeous in all that snow. There you go. Allison Rodriguez oh. live in Flagstaff this morning. We appreciate it. And you know, you can always get the latest forecast and live radar on our free ABC 15 mobile app. We want to help to keep you ahead of these storm conditions. We turn now to our Megan Thompson, who has been looking at what's going on with the roadways here, where we have seen some traffic troubles already. Yeah, you know, Kaylee, as soon as the rain and snow comes down, that's when we really start to see those troubles pop up. ADOT letting us know they have closed the I-40 completely. So both directions of the I-40 in the high country. This is between, between Ash Fork and Williams at milepost 145 due to that winter weather. We don't know when they'll be able to reopen that roadway. We'll keep you posted and back in the valley. We have merged that radar that Iris has been tracking, plus my traffic maps to see those storms moving into the valley. Right now, the 303 still checking in nicely, but be careful if you're about to hit the road. We have a stalled vehicle on the left sh shoulder of the I-17 northbound near Peoria Avenue and two more as well through this stretch. The left lane is where we're seeing some issues on the I-17 southbound near Glendale, and we're also seeing the left shoulder. This is the I-17 southbound near Bethany Home Road, where we're causing some issues due to those stalled vehicles, plus a crash. It's the I-10 eastbound near 7th Street near the tunnel. Your speeds are dropping to about 22 miles per hour. Very early start for that slow and go traffic at this time of the morning. 605, let's get to some more headlines right now. A devastating fire in the East Valley near Power Road and Southern in Mesa. The fire destroying a home at Leisure World. Firefighters from both Mesa and Apache Junction responding to the scene around 2 this morning. One person lives there but was not home at the time. Investigators will be out there today to try to figure out what exactly caused this. An investigation is underway this morning after three men were found dead in a field in South Phoenix. Police not releasing very many details right now, only saying the bodies had obvious signs of trauma. The discovery Sunday night happening after officers were responding to a report of somebody injured near 99th Avenue and Southern. The medical examiner has not identified the men yet or released the cause of death. Phoenix police making an arrest in that hit and run crash. The one leaving a two year old boy with serious injuries. Police telling us a woman 21 years old admitted she ran a red light Sunday night. Hitting the stroller never stopped. The toddler and his family were in a crosswalk at the time and his mom tells us he has a broken pelvis, a bleeding liver, fractured wrists and head injuries. We have posted a link to the GoFundMe page for medical expenses along with this story. It's up now at abc15.com. And now to our state capitol, a bill to expand parental rights at school is now getting some changes. The proposal would require a school employee tell parents anything a student discloses regarding their physical, emotional, or mental health. If the teacher refuses, parents would be allowed to file a complaint that could lead to fines, suspension, or even getting fired. I think it vilifies teachers. We already have a teacher shortage in this state, and this would drive teachers away from the profession. And it gives actual teeth to parents that want to see a difference in their school. One provision that was removed would have required teachers to tell parents about a student's sexual orientation or gender identity. No movement on that MLB lockout. We've all been waiting to hear a deal has been done, right? But players and owners are gearing up today to meet for a third day. They are trying to negotiate a new collective bargaining agreement by Monday to keep opening day from being delayed. Already the start of spring training has been pushed back by a week. Booyah, baby, yeah, that's Mesquite High School hitting that last minute shot from all the way back at half court to beat, and this is an upset, the number two seed, St. Mary's, in the 4A basketball playoffs, the semifinals. Mesquite is going to be heading to the championship game. Okay, so that's going to be played Monday night where they will take on the number one seed in the state there. Hey, go Wildcats, right? Uh, and they are going wild. You awesome. can't even blame them for it. <laughs> yeah, hey, I mean, this was must see everyone. Great job. And thanks to Evision Arizona for letting us use their video. 609 on this weather action day. Is it a public health crisis? New figures show car crashes are becoming a growing epidemic across America. Then slimming things down in hopes of boosting ratings. The Academy Awards announcing some changes when it comes to next month's major show. 
Well, from Oscar gold to winter white, there is no business like snow business when a storm like this moves in. And Arizona Snow Bowl is making up for lost time. But what's worse to weather? A dry year or the pandemic? We're going to take a closer look at the impact. And let's take you live outside. We have a closure here. The exit ramp at Bethany Home Road on the I-17 southbound blocked off by emergency vehicles due to a crash. And look at all those brake lights building as folks are trying to figure out what to do here. I'll give you an update, some alternates in just a few minutes. Twelve minutes after 6 a.m., Secretary of State Antony Blinken's meeting with Foreign Minister of Russia has been canceled. U.S. officials now say we are seeing the invasion of Ukraine beginning. Russia making it clear the country is rejecting diplomacy. Today, the trial begins for a Kentucky police officer facing criminal charges in connection to Breonna Taylor's death. The former officer, Brett Hankinson, fired 10 shots during that raid, none of them hitting Taylor. But prosecutors say the bullets put her neighbors in harm's way. The number of people killed in crashes surged during the pandemic. That's making headlines today as well. Some new data is showing there were almost 32,000 traffic related deaths in the first nine months of 2021. And that is the highest number we've seen for this since 2006. And home prices, they continue to go up. Low inventory, high demand, helping to push the S&P CoreLogic Home Price Index up nearly 19% over the course of last year. And that 12-month increase is the largest on record. All that winter white up north has the Arizona snowball seeing some green. Like so many businesses right now, the resort had to really weather the impacts of this pandemic. But as Noah Lani Graf explains, a dry spell can be even more costly. No, hey, it makes sense, right? They need the snow to operate. Exactly, and they had to fight just to open the season. You might remember they were about five days late. There were sparse amounts of snow at that time. Now, this is the view two days ago. The mountains were still snow capped from last week's storm, and then the prospect of this now dumping snow gives them hope of extending the season even further. You know, with the pandemic, they did have to limit capacity. Fewer people were traveling overall, so it was tough on business like so many others and of course morale this year more people are showing up so they need the snow to be there as well no natural snow means they have to make snow but there is a financial cost to that plus there are restrictions from the forest service and city over how much water can be used to do it and where they put it and the longer they have to manufacture snow the shorter the season can become the longest snow bowl has been open is into may so storms like this really give hope that maybe they can come close to that again Definitely is looking like it will be a pretty long season for us. Um, the storms definitely do help. Um, with every single storm, we do get to add to our base. The natural snow does last longer. And with snow making, you focus on that one area all night long. But with the natural snow, it's just a widespread, and we wake up to this beautiful winter, winter wonderland. Also, this matters to us here in the valley as well, because snowpack also replenishes the water levels in the Salt and Verde rivers, so the valley doesn't have to tap into the groundwater supply as much. And, you know, business is good when they're already planning on hosting a big fundraiser on Saturday, giving away more than $12,000 from the ticket sales to go toward Flagstaff Shelter Services. Oh, that's good to know, no, Helani. And, you know, we certainly are thinking of them because we want more snow, snow, like you said, just for our snowpack, but for business as well. And look at the snow coming down right now as we speak. This is a live view in Flagstaff. Time right now is 616, and in some spots, nearly whiteout conditions as we get not only heavy snow, but blowing snow too. You do not want to be on the roads at this point, if at all possible. But if you do have to head out, a reminder that you've got to give yourself some extra travel time so you can take it slow. Hopefully you have four wheel drive as well and make sure that you have an emergency kit in your vehicle in the event you get stuck. Now we've already been talking about some road closures and Megan Thompson will have an update on those through the morning, but let me show you those winds. Those winds gusting near 35 to 40 miles an hour in that north central pocket of our state, including in spots like Flagstaff where we just saw that live image. So it's not just a matter of the heavy snow. 
snow, but also those winds that are making conditions even more dangerous. We're officially under winter storm warnings through six o'clock this evening for areas in the pink from Flagstaff to Payson and points to the southeast of there along the rim into the White Mountains. We also have those winter storm warnings in north central Arizona near the Grand Canyon and in parts of the Navajo Nation. That's a higher threshold of alert, but we've got winter weather advisories covering areas like Prescott and Kingman and Holbrook too, where we're likely going to see accumulating snow and some hazardous conditions too. And check this out issued overnight winter weather advisories for some of that higher terrain east of the valley, including the four peaks, parts of the superstitions too, where we're likely going to see at least a dusting of snow one to three inches possible in some of these areas, including spots like Superior and Globe. And what that means is that once these clouds lift, especially by tomorrow, you're going to notice snow covering the peaks surrounding the valley. Let me take you to Desert Doppler radar. The snow coming down up north, but here in the valley, we're starting to watch some of that rain move in. If you're in the Northwest Valley, surprise Deer Valley and also Whitman, you're starting to get in on some of that rain with light to moderate rain at this point. No thunderstorms in the mix, but the areas in the orange show you where some of that rain is coming down a little heavier. The rest of the valley all dry, but this rain is going to continue to fill in across the Phoenix area as we go through the morning. So expect wet conditions over the next few hours and even into this afternoon, thunderstorms will still be possible. And of course, those slick roads from Sholo to Payson to Young and in Flagstaff where that snow is coming down heavier. Prescott's still getting in on some of that heavy snow too as we speak. As I walk you through future cast, here's 9 a.m. More widespread rain likely by then around the valley with a few thunderstorms in the mix too. more widespread snow as well. And that will be the trend through the afternoon into the evening up north for the valley. We'll keep our best chances for rain through about 2 p.m. Then spotty showers or thunderstorms will be possible through the evening. And then we begin to dry things out overnight by tomorrow. More sunshine and we are done with this storm system for the valley. Rain chances the best bet 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Chance of thunderstorms in the mix, maybe some soft hail that covers the ground, making things even more slick around on the valley and for the high country expect maybe a foot of snow in spots like Flagstaff with more of those high winds. It's going to be a cold day. These are our high temperatures, but I can tell you that we've already hit 56 degrees in Phoenix and that was around midnight. We may not go any higher than that with temperatures essentially sitting in the low to mid 50s all day long today. 20s for Flagstaff then much colder tonight with a single digit low in Flagstaff 30s in the valley and still chilly tomorrow, but recovering and really nice by the weekend. ABC 15 Desert Drive Time, sponsored by Accident Law Group. Coming up on 620 now, as we get a check of traffic, look at this view of the I-17 southbound near Bethany Home Road. You can see from these live images with our ADOT camera, we have a fire engine on scene blocking your exit ramp at Bethany Home Road. So folks coming by this scene, obviously slowing down. We also had multiple stalled vehicles in this area, so that slow and go that we've been dealing with this morning is just going to continue with that new blockage. So an alternate for you would be Glendale Avenue or Camelback Road to get off of the freeway a little bit easier because that one is so slow and completely blocked off. If you're at least exiting, you can get on. You see those speeds on the freeway dropping below about 20 miles per hour through that stretch. I and eastbound near 7th Street, a crash there. There's a look at that radar with our traffic maps on the Loop 303 right now. Conditions are OK, but as we move up to the high country, the I-40 between Williams and Ash Fork, a mile plus 145, that is closed in both directions. Nick, here are those desert drive times here in the valley. That perfect traffic signal, red, yellow, and green. Well, are you ready to celebrate all things Italian? Ahead at 625, a fun two-day event lands on your Wednesday morning bulletin board. The gas prices, you know, they've been climbing for several weeks at head at 637. Are we on the verge of paying four bucks a gallon? And this at 645, a local breeder in the doghouse when customers were hit with broken promises and their money was taken. It was time for Joe Ducey to take action and help them fight. And then we are your home for your most accurate forecast. Iris is back at 649 with your super seven day forecast. Six twenty four Arizona and some changes are coming to this year's Oscars to help keep the show on time. Eight awards are going to be presented off air. The categories are going to pop them up, up here on your screen. There we go. Include original score, production design and film editing. But the winners, they're still going to get their Oscar shining moment. 
presentation and speeches are going to be edited into the three hour broadcast, which, by the way, airs right here on ABC 15 March 27th. On the bulletin board this morning, get ready to say buongiorno and celebrate all things Italian. The annual Italian festival is coming to downtown Phoenix this weekend at Heritage Square. The fun kicks off Saturday morning with a parade and live entertainment. This is video from a few years back. You can also try some of the best Italian food the Valley has to offer. We have some great Italian places. There's gelato, cannoli, pizza, mm. wine, and so much more. There's also going to be an Italian car and bike show, an art gallery, even some cooking lessons. Tickets are 15 bucks. Kids 12 and under get in for free. Two days of Italian art, culture, cuisine, and so much more. Celebrating Orgullo Italiano. Ooh, yes. Mangiamo. That's on today's bulletin board. Just keep talking like that. <laughs> va bene, va bene. <laughs> it's 625. Boy, a Tuesday they will never forget. A couple from Maricopa combining yesterday's fun date to 2222 with Taco Tuesday. Sarah and Ralph, you see him here tying the knot at Del Taco in Queen Creek. The ceremony happening right at 222, of course. The couple tells us their love for tacos comes second only to their love for each other. That's really sweet. <laughs> I'm sure it comes with some spicy hot sauce, too. Oh, I like that. Wow. And some guac on the side, I hope, as well. <laughs> hey, up next at 630, gig work proven to be mutually beneficial for companies and the employees. And it's about to go more mainstream than ever before. For months now, customers of a Valley dog breeder say they couldn't get the dogs or their deposits back. I'm investigator Joe Doozy with some good news. Some are finally getting that money. And could our gas prices hit $4 a gallon here in Arizona? They sure are close at this station in Phoenix. Coming up, what the experts are telling me as tensions mount between Ukraine and Russia. Just seconds ago, I got an update from the city of Flagstaff that non-essential services are now on a two-hour delay. This goes along with other closures that I'm going to fill you in on coming up in just a little bit. Blustery conditions across the high country with snow coming down today. But look what's happening after today. Conditions improve, but the cold, we're not taking it for a while. I'm going to break down your most accurate Super 7-Day forecast in the next half hour.